Hello everyone, it's me again. Um, I have an article that I wanted to comment on. This article is over a week old, so you may have already seen it. But this is from the Chicago Sun-Times, and the article is entitled, Obama Beats Out Jesus as America's Hero. When I read this article, when I heard the news of uh, people choosing Barack Hussein Obama over Jesus as their hero, it just made me realize that this nation is in trouble. The Bible has already said that people are going to choose men over him. The majority of people are going to choose evil over good. And uh, the Bible makes it clear that people are going to worship men over God. They choose evil instead of good. I'm going to read a little bit of this article. It says, Americans named President Obama as their number one hero, followed by Jesus Christ and Martin Luther King in a new Harris poll. Others in the top 10 in descending order were Ronald Reagan, G.W. Bush, Abraham Lincoln, John McCain, John F. Kennedy, and Chelsea Sullenberger, which is the pilot that landed the plane safely on the um, that uh, river in uh, New York, and Mother Teresa. It says the people were asked, whom they admired enough to call their heroes, those surveyed were not shown a list of people to choose from. The Harris Poll was conducted online among a sample of 2,634 U.S. adults by Harris Interactive. This question was first asked in a Harris Poll in 2001. In that survey, Jesus Christ was the hero mentioned most often, followed by Martin Luther King, Colin Paul, John F. Kennedy, and Mother Teresa. So again, this nation is in so much trouble. All I can say is that judgment is coming to this country, and a lot of it because of Barack Hussein Obama. Since he's taken office from the beginning, I think the first action that he made when he took office was to sign his name to papers to do away with the ban against U.S. dollars being used to fund abortions overseas. This man, with his signature, signed a death warrant for aiding in the killing and murdering of unborn babies in other nations. And all the so-called Christians who voted for this evil man, knowing that he was a pro-abortionist. It's like your signature on those papers. You voted for him. He's representing you. Also a big issue with God is this abomination of homosexuality. I think Barack Hussein Obama has already been talking about doing away with the policy that Bill Clinton put in place the don't ask, don't tell policy. And if Barack Hussein Obama does away with that, that would allow open homosexuality in the military and that is just not acceptable. Another issue that is important to God's heart is the Middle East conflict. The Jewish people as a nation, as a people, as a whole, they are the apple of God's eye and you do not touch them. You don't mess with Israel. And I believe the reason why this country has not been judged more harshly than it has already is that our official stance with Israel has been with them as our friend and ally in the Middle East. But Barack Hussein Obama is already siding with the Muslims in Hamas. And many of you who don't know about Bible prophecy, the war of Gog and Magog, it specifically names the nation of Iran and Russia coming against Israel. And that is going to happen sometime in the future. But the Bible says all the nations that come with this 
group of people against Israel, they are going to be judged. Uh, there's going to be some destruction. So if Barack Hussein Obama partners up with his Muslim brothers over there against Israel, as a leader of this nation, this country is going to have some destruction. There's going to be some judgment if this man goes against Israel. And I know there are a lot of people, so-called Christians, who say that the church has replaced Israel. That is a lie. The church has not replaced Israel. First of all, the church has a better covenant than Israel. We're under the um, doctrine of grace. The Jewish nation, the Israeli nation as a whole, is still under that law, under the law. Now, individual Jewish people, uh, they do come to know Jesus as Messiah and they are saved. But as a whole, as a nation, uh, they are not going to accept Jesus as their Messiah until they come through the tribulation period. Uh, God is going to deal with them during those seven years of tribulation when the church will be raptured, taken out of this world while God deals with Israel and pours his wrath out on the wicked who has not or will not accept him. I kind of uh, went into a rabbit trail from the subject but these people are choosing Barack Hussein Obama as their hero as their God because Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He is God and when they choose a mere man a wicked man on top of that above the Lord Jesus Christ they're saying that this man is their God many people has referred to this man as uh, the Messiah like Louis Farrakhan there are a lot of people like Oprah Winfrey calling this man the one a lot of people in the stupid media saying that this man is divine as if he's really something he's nothing but a wicked man uh, he has flesh just like the rest of us that is going to uh, decay. This man is no God. He's a pitiful excuse of a man at that. A lot of people are choosing this man as their God. They don't depend on God for their substance. They do not depend on God for their food, for their clothing, for their provisions. They don't pray and ask God. They don't live for God and seek Him first and ask Him to help them. They depend on this man and wicked liberals and Democrats and the Congress. They depend on the government. They depend on this man to provide them with substance. To provide for their mortgages and paying their bills and all of that. This man can do nothing. He has nothing but power to force people to give them their taxes and he's taking other people's hard-earned money in the form of taxes and giving that money to the low lives and the people who put him in office who are looking to him as their God this man has nothing he has nothing of his own to give but that he take from other people and you people are foolish to say that this man is your God or your hero. He is nothing but flesh. Uh, I'm digressing I guess. Uh, it, it's just pitiful. It's not shocking I guess because the Bible says so that uh, people are gonna put men before him. Uh, he said he was gonna lose more people than he won. He said that the road to destruction is wide and there's many that's going to go there but the road to uh, eternal life is narrow judgment is coming it is definitely coming if this man continues in his wicked and evil ways uh, and I doubt that he's going to do anything other than go against God and the Word of God 